What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be doing some super simple, functional, organizational decor. first time here welcome thanks so much for tuning in as I said in the beginning today's video is gonna be some super easy super functional and also meant to organize type of decor if you are interested make sure you guys stick around but before you go and watch the video make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video which is every Friday 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time this is actually perfect to organize a desk for someone who works at home someone who has a small office space outside of their home or a student because school is right around the corner and I'm pretty sure all these college students are starting to decorate their dorm rooms with anything you guys make sure you think outside the box and if you see something you like but you don't like the colors change the color or you know tweak it to fit your style so yeah I'm gonna shut it up right now and get on to the first DIY all right but who would ever think that cooling rags would look this cute so as I just said, these are actually cooling racks from Dollar Tree. They do come two in a pack, so that's a dollar for you, for you right there. And I basically just stack them together to make a shape of a heart, and obviously it's not round, but it's okay. Um, and then I just took some floral wire and just attached it to like the corners to make sure that this doesn't come apart on me. You can paint this in whatever color you want that's going to fit your decor and your style and your taste. Uh, I am using chalkboard spray paint which by the way will chip if you bang it against something. So after that I did spray it with like a, um, a sealant so the paint doesn't go anywhere. I only use the thumbtack to hang it up but you could use a nail or whatever um, and you guys can see that battery pack that I glued at the bottom. You're not going to be able to see it once you hang your pictures on there using these simple clips. Um, I just use these clips from a different Dollar Tree thing that I had hanging around but you guys could also buy them separately. They do sell them at Walmart and stuff. And then the the string lights I'm just gonna go around on the edges and it was enough to go almost all the way around you guys can use more if you need or you can buy different ones from like Amazon and make them longer and I didn't have to mess with my light here so you guys can see the cute little lights just because my home is a dungeon doesn't mean you guys have to suffer too so there you have it for this DIY all right, so for the next one, I'm showing you the picture of both the calendar one and then the little cubic or like the cubby one. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do the cubby one first. And taking these little boxes from Dollar Tree, they do have like a little drawer that you can bring out. So of course, they're a dollar each. And what I'm going to do is just take four of them and then glue them side by side. And you can put these... Um, like I showed you horizontally and you can even stand them up vertically depending on your space and how you want to do it. So there you guys saw me just marking the center on the drawers that pull out and I have these little knobs from a different Dollar Tree supply. Anytime I take accessories off, whether it's screws or hangers or whatever it is, I always save them because I know I can use them for something else. And these went perfect for the little door handle. And something I didn't show you guys was me painting the cubbies just because uh, I forgot, <laughs> but I did spray paint them with a white uh, flat spray paint and then these just go perfectly in there and that's it on this one. So for the little calendar one, I actually have one similar to this that I purchased at TJ Maxx and I wanted to recreate it, you know, on a budget. So here I am using those two wooden blocks, this little crate, and then also 12 blocks from Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue two of them together to make six separate pieces. Oh, and by the way, you guys are going to see a lot of times where I show you the product after that's already painted and I and I didn't teach you guys or show you guys how I painted it is because 
it's pretty easy, I guess, <laughs> to paint stuff. So now this next step is absolutely optional. I am going to be using my Cricut. These are the fonts that I use and this is what it looked like when I printed it out. So I am actually using my Cricut 3 which is the newest uh, machine and this one is cool because you don't have to use a mat with it. So I'm going to be using my Smart Vinyl and I think this is removable vinyl vinyl <laughs> vinyl and I really like this tray that helps you feed the vinyl into the machine it just keeps your rolls nice and in place so you don't have to hassle with it when you are feeding it through the machine and you know once it's doing its thing and cutting it just kind of rolls back into place and also what I really like about this little tray is that once you're done with your cut and you want to cut your piece you can just slide it to whatever length you want and it has a little cutter right there so when I say it's absolutely optional I know not a lot of you have Cricut machines and I know some of you are tired of seeing these Cricut videos but come on now um, what you can do is use stickers okay there's stickers at Dollar Tree there's stickers at Walmart there's stickers at the craft stores or you can use a uh, marker you can always print out the numbers and then trace them so there's there's no reason why you guys can't do this project if you don't have a Cricut. So anyways, you guys can see how easy it is for me to take the numbers right off and then just stick them on there. You guys can see that other block over there. That's the original one. And I'm just kind of going along with how the numbers are placed on there. And then on here, um, I'm just weeding out all my little pieces that I'm not going to need. And then I'm going to use my transfer tape. So when I transfer these over onto my blocks, I'm actually going to do two sides. That way it's easy to just turn them around when you want to change the months and you don't have to have so many pieces so there's only going to be the six All right, so I love simple projects and this one is super duper simple. Uh, I am just taking one of these frames from Dollar Tree and I actually am reusing it from like a Christmas DIY. And you know, look at it, it's already painted. You can actually see the outline of the sticker that was on there, which doesn't really matter because you're not gonna see it. And then I'm also gonna be using one of these little clips and I'm just gonna screw it right in there. Um, this craft paper I got from Ross for $1.99 and it actually has a good amount of paper in it so as you can see here I'm just measuring the inside to determine what size I want to cut my paper and you don't have to use this kind of paper hi mama you can always use like little notepads or you know whatever type of paper you want to put in there you know whatever works for you that's what I'm all about and then yeah I'm just using my paper cutter here to cut these to size and again every time I uh, show you guys little knickknacks here and there it's stuff that I reuse from other like supplies that I use I never throw anything away just in case so yeah just gonna screw that right in there got this feeling I'm feeling Why I should ever let you go mm. Don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming because you know I can't get Now isn't this the cutest bookend slash shelf you've ever seen <laughs> so I got these leaves from these wooden leaves from Dollar Tree and you guys can see I just knocked out that little hanger piece just put a screwdriver and then a hammer pops right out and then again with all the little hangers and screws take it right off and just save them for the next time and I also have like a random piece of wood that was in my stockpile I always have random stuff that I like to use 
And I'm just going to align it to wherever I think is best, which is obviously right where that hole is at because we're going to make a hole right in there. And then I'm going to screw those into the sides. And I just did the hole first and then attached the leaf on there. You guys will see I am going to be painting this. And I am using a spray can or a spray paint and it's just like the flat white. I actually ran out of this for the uh, for one of the next projects and I had to use gloss which I don't like at all because it's sticky and it doesn't dry fast so if you guys use white spray paint make sure you use the, the flat I mean I guess unless you like gloss which I really don't and then that nozzle that I'm using makes makes painting so much easier I do have that linked in the description and as you guys can see I'm just trying to do the backs I don't want to do the front parts of the leaves because that gold part you can leave it like that but I'm just going to use some chalkboard paint some black chalkboard paint, which is the same thing. Eh, I don't know. And then to cover the the holes, um, I am actually using some leftover tacks from an ottoman that I took apart. And um, I am cutting the tip off of this and just putting it away from my face so that thing doesn't pop in my eye. And silly me, I thought I was recording and showing you guys how to glue this on there, but it looks like I didn't. Of this feeling you're giving me, don't want to wake up. All right, so here's another really simple like alternative to a whiteboard or you know like one of those message boards I'm just using a Dollar Tree frame I've used these frames for so many different projects and again using my Cricut to create my design and then using some removable <laughs> removable vinyl and this is like a smart material this one just feeds through the machine I didn't need any mat to you know cut it with or anything like that so I feel like the letters were a little bit thin so if anything if I could redo this I would just make them a little bit thicker and using my transfer tape just gonna put it right onto my design make sure that it's nice and flat on there and then I'm gonna transfer it to the glass now again you don't need a Cricut if you don't have one you can still make this you can totally just print out on like a regular piece of paper and just stick it on the back and that way you can write on the glass you can use stickers decals whatever you like you don't have to be discouraged again if you don't have a machine All right, so we have come to the final two DIYs, which I really, really, really like. And we're going to start with this mirrored caddy. All right, so from Dollar Tree, I'm going to use this wooden frame, a mirror, a little crate, and then two of these wooden pallets. And I'm just basically going to glue everything together. Oh, yeah, I'm also using some Walmart dowels and these are like a little bit thicker than the ones I've been using and yeah just start gluing everything together you guys can glue it however you want how you know just put it in the direction that you, I don't know what I'm saying right now I'm gluing everything together and then I am gonna paint everything the caddy and the dowels are gonna be white and then the frame is gonna be black so choose your colors and go at it Sometimes I forget to breathe I'm looking in your eyes Wish you could see the things I see I don't want to wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you give I don't know about you guys but anytime I was like in my old office I always was afraid that I have like something in my teeth or you know my face was all jacked so I always like having a mirror nearby so in the palettes I am gonna be putting pens and like highlighters so the bottom I'm gonna cover with like a cut up popsicle stick just glue it underneath so nothing comes falling out and then you can also use other little um, boxes to put in there if you want separate compartments You think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't 
So here's another reminder of what we're working on next, which is this headphone holder. Perfect for the office if you have a headset or if you're in a dorm room. And then also me, I always use my headphones when I'm like editing and stuff and I always just throw them all over the place. So want to keep them safe, but also make them look uh, stylish. <laughs> so I'm using this wooden round from Walmart and I think this piece was like 97 cents. You guys like how I center my stuff here? Just eyeball it. Um, of course you do want it to be centered because you don't want it to like topple to the side. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to take my, um, drill here, drill a hole in the center and then over there yonder if you can see what I'm doing I'm gonna do a hole on both sides of that large dowel that's also from Walmart So I'm just going to make sure that it's screwed on there nice and tightly and it's actually pretty secure. So I will be spray painting this with some black chalkboard paint while that dries. Actually, it's not drying yet because it's obviously there by the side. <laughs> um, I am going to be using this uh, floral foam, foam, what is it? Floral, oh my gosh, you guys, a wreath, a foam wreath. <laughs> And then just cut the piece off that's like the perfect size for whatever type of headphones you have. And I'm just going to screw it right to the top of that dowel. I did add a little bit of glue right before it touches. Um, that way it's it sticks. And then take whatever type of fabric that you want. I just had like some random fabric that I thought looked good. And started gluing it down on the sides. And just work on it until you're happy with how it looks. I feel like I could have worked on it a little bit longer. But, you know, it is what it is. That is it on this DIY. Now it looks perfect and it completes your dorm room and your office look. Ask you, ask you all my questions. Get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for credit? Will you lock me down? I know I'm feeling something for So we've come to the end of the video. Um, I What else can I say that I didn't already say? <laughs> uh, I thought all this decor was super cute and you know, I actually might find some use for it in our desk area. So with that said, if you did enjoy this video, I would love those thumbs up. Remember, any engagement you guys throw my way, the likes, the comments, the complaints, <laughs> the concerns, the suggestions, all of that in the description, or not in the description, but in the comments down below, help my channel subscribing. So make sure you do that before you turn me off. All right, <laughs> see you guys on the next one. Bye.